Alright everybody, today is the finale for Season 3 of The Mandalorian. As you can see, it is very early in the morning. I've still got my Jedi robes on, and then I've got my coffee in my Mandalorian mug, and we are ready to go. I am really hoping that this episode is absolutely amazing, because this season has not been that good. I think there's maybe like three episodes that I really liked. I know I really liked the first and the second, and then last week's episode with Moff Gideon. Those were all pretty good, I would say, um, especially last week's. That was like one of my favorite Mandalorian episodes ever, so I'm really hoping that they get the ball rolling really quickly in this one, and that it is just amazing, especially because we left off uh, from the last episode on a cliffhanger with Paz Vizsla dying, so this episode's gotta be great, so let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, Star Wars logo. Let's do this. Bo-Katan! Oh, he has his orders? Is he the spy from the last episode that wasn't revealed yet? I mean, it's really obvious if he is the spy, but it does work. Oh, the Beskar troops. I love that, uh, the suit design for them. It looks really cool. Oh, boy. I heard some rumors that Din might be killed. Really hope that's not the case, because he's my favorite Star Wars character, so... Yes, Din, get out of there. Beat him up. Beat him up. Survive. Come on. Oh, they got the flamethrowers, too, and everything. Wow. 100% copycats of the Mandalorians. Oh! <laughs> No. Grogu no. with his IG-12 no. suit. He saved his daddy. Dada! <laughs> I'm gonna need you to be brave for me, okay? We can't keep running. Oh, no. Please don't tell me Din's gonna die. This sounds like a goodbye, you can do this on your own, I need you to be brave kind of chat. The Mandalorian, Chapter 24, The Return. I'm guessing The Return is talking about the Mythosaur, like it's returning and everyone's gonna see it and bring the new age of Mandalore. Oh crap, here come the fighters. Oh crap, Moff Gideon. I love his suit, it is so badass. Oh, no. I, I love the voice changer myself. and everything. I need the Hot Toys figure of uh, Moff Gideon in his suit. How is Din gonna fight? Moff Gideon with Beskar armor, like, didn't Din struggle against him with no Beskar and no suit or anything in the last season? That's why I'm worried he might die, like, I don't know. The matchup just doesn't seem fair anymore. Come on, R5, you can do it. Holy axe is still flying? How does this guy have enough fuel? Hmm, so maybe he's not the spy? Sounds like he is genuinely trying to help them. I don't know, something's a little fishy about him wanting to take control of the, the ship while everyone leaves. Is he gonna like shoot them all down maybe? Wouldn't the, the fighters have just seen all the Mando ships flying in and they're like, shouldn't you go shoot those? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it looks like Axe isn't a bad guy. So that means the armorer is definitely the big twist and the spy. It has to be. I don't have any weapons. This so guy doesn't even have weapons. Why are you going after Moff Gideon behind. alone? Are you crazy, Din? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Come on, Din. Ooh. Nice throw. Oh. Oh, clotheslined him. Jeez, I gotta say the fight choreography in this episode is actually pretty good so far. Uh-oh, Mouse Droid's gonna see R5. <laughs> oh, that little Mandalorian tune right at the end there after he beat everyone. Better nice. Got the whole precinct after him. <laughs> Just bumping into him like a bumper car. He's gonna die right in front of Grogu, isn't he? Man, I'm not ready for this. Oh, are we gonna find out who's in those tanks? Is it the Snoke body? He's surely he's gonna look in it, right? He's not just gonna walk right past them. Just look at the tank and give it a wipe so you can see. Okay, Grogu's gonna do it for us. That's not Gideon. Those are his Moff clones. Gideon's cloning himself. The eyes are gonna open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Moff Gideon's probably trying to get Grogu to get the midichlorians to then give himself force abilities. And then he's also on top of that gonna have Mandalorian Beskar armor. That's cool. Maybe this guy is the spy. Maybe he made a deal with Moff Gideon or something. There's definitely gonna be a twist when someone is revealed to be a spy. Oh, that looks so cool. 
It's like the house party protocol, but Star Wars edition. Oh, oh, oh. Leading all the Mandalorians with the Darksaber. Let's go. Oh, she's gonna slice and dice a bunch of them, isn't she? Ooh! Holy, the armor is going ham right now. Bonking everyone on the head with their tools there. Here we go. This is Din's death scene, isn't it? Not ready for this. Right in front of his son, too. Uh-oh, he's locked in there. Oh, yeah, he's dying. Grogu just hid around the corner, and he's gonna see Din fall on the ground. Oh, look at that suit. Man, That look at that suit. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, he is gonna die. Or Bo-Katan's gonna save him. Something's gonna happen. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh? Grogu saved the day? No, no, no. <laughs> Surely Grogu doesn't die, so... Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna sacrifice himself to save Grogu. Oh, that was sick. Alright, Grogu's gonna go ultimate force abilities right now. Show him what you can do, Grogu! Look at him running around. <laughs> He's loving it. He's giggling. Oh my god. Oh, good shot. Oh my god. Yeah, he's he's done. Pretty sure Moff Gideon has like enhancements because when you uh, hear him move, it sounds like he has some kind of cybernetics, which makes him stronger. Like when you saw him punch the ground, how he dented it and everything. Oh, Bo Katan to the rescue. Maybe Bo Katan dies. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Oh. Okay. All right, Mando to the rescue. Oh, somebody is definitely dying. It's either Bo-Katan or, uh, Din. Oh, that's like a John Wick move. Uh-oh, what's that? Axe Wolves in the ship. Look at how badass he looks, man. Holy. He's getting in her head. I think she's gonna potentially die. I don't know. Someone's gotta die in this episode. Did you just break the dark saber? That was like the coolest weapon, man. Uh oh, I think she's dead. Oh, let's go team up fight Grogu, Mando, and Bo-Katan. Oh, that is a cool shot. Yes, Grogu, get him. I definitely think Moff Gideon is still alive. Oh, a little force shield that's a cool shot all the fire just surrounding them like that don't tell me moff is like waiting for them time to rebuild oh the mythosaur oh the mythosaur is definitely coming out of that water or this kid's gonna see it oh maybe he's the future leader of mandalore because he was paz vizsla's son and paz vizsla's descendant was the leader of mandalore so, it does make sense for his kid to take up that role. Oh, is Grogu gonna go in there? Okay, he's definitely gonna see the mythosaur. Grogu is my apprentice. He is no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. Is he gonna get a little Mando helmet? He's too young to speak, so he is too Oh, he's gonna say his first words? Then I will adopt him as my own. I thought he did that, like, two seasons ago, but <laughs> I guess it's official now. You are now Din Grogu. Din Grogu? Okay, so we're gonna get Mando and Grogu for a long time, it seems. He's gonna see the Mythosaur. Surely we're gonna see it, yeah. Oh, it senses the next leader, Din Grogu. The Great Forge is back! I like how they clap this metal clanking. Oh, he's back at the bar where Zeb was. You don't have the resources to protect the Outer Rim, let alone hunt down Imperial remnants. You want to work for the New Republic? 
Interesting, interesting. Oh, that's nice. He's gonna have his own, like, little house on, uh, Navarro with Grogu. Okay, that's cool. IG-11's gonna be, like, the marshal on Navarro. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that little house. That's so nice. With a ship parked on the side there. Just hanging out on his porch. And Grogu with the little frog. Nice. Okay. Well, that, that was it. Uh... I wanted there to be a little bit more in this episode, like, uh, I don't know, the ending I was kind of like iffy about, but I did really enjoy the episode overall. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed, put on a Star Wars shirt, and then we'll talk about this episode. Alright guys, so I actually just watched the entire episode one more time, just to get everything fresh in my memory to talk about, and I gotta say I'm kinda disappointed with that finale, like bringing Moff Gideon back and giving him armor and all of that stuff, and then he really didn't do much. And now he's dead, and obviously I don't think he's actually dead, I think he's probably gonna come back and work with Thrawn or something down the line. But if you really think about it, what did he actually do this season? Like, he got armor, he built a base on Mandalore, he fought Bo-Katan and Din, and then lost, and that was pretty much it. Like, he didn't kill anybody, I definitely thought he was gonna kill Din or Bo-Katan. I think that would have been really impactful, maybe he even takes over Mandalore or something, who knows? I think that would have been really impactful, or at least more impactful than him just basically fighting them too and then he just gets blown up by fire. I don't know, I was just kind of disappointed. Like, I thought there was going to be more of a conclusion here. I thought Moff Gideon was going to have more to do. I really like the direction that the show is going to be going for a potential season 4, which I definitely think they set up a lot of stuff for. Having all of the Mandalorians back on Mandalore, they're going to rebuild, they're going to be a powerhouse nation again, or I should say planet, and I gotta say I am really excited for what they're going to do with the Mandalorians. The Great Forge is back, Mando and Grogu are father and son now, officially. They're gonna go on their own adventures now, I'm sure they're gonna go to the planet where Grogu is from and kind of uh, discover a lot about his past because we never really knew anything about that species before in Star Wars. And I definitely think they're gonna explore that, I know the Mythosaur is gonna come back at some point, which they also teased in this episode. I think Paz Vizsla's son is gonna have a huge role in the future of the Mandalorian franchise. Like I said in the reaction part of the video, Paz Vizsla's descendant was the leader of Mandalore, and I think it makes sense that his son maybe picks up that mantle, or maybe it's just Bo-Katan, who knows. I think what I loved about this episode the most was the action, like just seeing Moff Gideon with his staff fighting Bo-Katan with the Darksaber, and then Din beating up all these bad guys. It was just really entertaining, and then Grogu using the Force and fighting the Praetorian Guards. The action was just great, and visually the episode looked great too, but it just felt felt kind of empty and it was a short episode too. I think it was only about 33 minutes of actual runtime, and that is not long enough for a season that was just filler episode after filler episode. I think what a lot of fans wanted was the retaking of Mandalore to happen maybe around the midpoint of this season and then deal with Moff Gideon trying to take over Mandalore, stuff like that. Not really just like side mission, side mission, side mission, Moff Gideon has a base and he's making clones and then he fights Bo-Katan and Din and then he gets blown up and then in the end. The season just didn't really flow all that well, and I gotta say the finale was a bit disappointing. I really hope they take a lot of the fan feedback though for season 3 and just really develop season 4 into something special. I want that to be a return to form, something that's really story focused and doesn't really have any filler episodes, because if you're gonna make a series that's around 8 episodes, you do not need filler at all, especially if the episodes only run for like 30 to 40 minutes. We don't need any time wasting, just stick to the story, so I really, really hope that Season 4 is absolutely fantastic, but Season 3 was a bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie, I think there was maybe 3, maybe 4 episodes that I actually liked out of 8, which isn't very good. For the entire season, I would give it a 6 out of 10, there's some enjoyable stuff, there's a, a pretty decent story when they actually focus on it, but overall it was just really messy, it was all over the place, filler episodes here and there, Lizzo, I just wasn't a huge fan of it, let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about this season and the finale and where do you think the Mandalorian is going to go now because it looks like Din and Grogu are going to go off on their own adventures and not really stick around too much with the other Mandalorians. I am really excited for what they do next but this just wasn't it. So guys that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.